Hello everyone, uh, this is the continuation of video series on most important viva questions related to the biochemistry. You can use this video as a rapid revision as well. So today's topic is gout. So the first question can be asked is what is gout? So gout is the clinical condition characterized by the pain, swelling, redness of joints which occurs due to the hyperuricemia. Now what is hyperuricemia? So hyperuricemia is the increased uric acid concentration in the blood. So the another question can be asked what is the normal range of uric acid? So the normal range of uric acid is 3 to 7 mg per deciliter. That is the normal range of uric acid. Then another question can be asked what is uric acid? So uric acid is the end product of purine catabolism. Another question can be asked what are the functions of uric acid? So the answer is basically uric acid is the waste product but some of the research scholar mentioned that uric acid act as an antioxidant as well. And remember one thing that gout is always associated with hyperuricemia but hyperuricemia is not always associated with the gout. Then another question can be asked what are the types of gout and its etiology. So there are two uh, main types of gout. First one is the primary gout and the second one is the secondary gout. Primary gout basically occurs due to the increased production of uric acid due to the defect in purine nucleotide metabolism and it occurs mainly due to the due to the overactivity of PRPP synthetase enzyme, overactivity of glutamine PRPP amidotransferase enzyme, deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme which causes the Van Gogh's disease and deficiency of HGPRTase enzyme which causes the Lesnian syndrome. And the secondary gout occurs basically due to the increased production of uric acid secondary to some other disease like increased turnover of increased breakdown and turnover of, turnover of the cells which occurs in various cancers like leukemia, polycythemia or psoriasis then burns, then chronic renal disease where there is a decreased excretion of uric acid. So these are the some causes of secondary gout. Now what are the clinical features of gout? So the clinical features of gout is gout, uh, gout is characterized by the increased concentration of uric acid and this uric acid crystals start getting deposited in the synovial fluid as well as in the various connective tissue. Deposition of this uric acid crystal in the connective tissue is known as a tophi and this uric acid crystals will initiate the inflammation process and because of this inflammation process patient will have pain, swelling, redness of the joints and the first joint which will be affected in the gout is the first metatarsophalangeal joint and the gout is more common in males as compared to the females. So that are the clinical features. Then another question can be asked what are the lab investigation that you will do in case of gout. So the lab investigation that can be done in case of gout is the first blood uric acid level, second one is the synovial fluid examination and the third one is the urine analysis. Now what are the treatment of gout? So the treatment is always divided into non-pharmacological treatment and pharmacological treatment. In the non-pharmacological treatment ask the patient to have plenty of water intake, restrict the alcohol intake and restrict the non-vegetarian diet or the diet which contains high amount of the purines like various beverages like tea, coffee and restriction of non-vegetarian diet. Fine. And in the pharmacological treatment, the drug of choice for the gout is allopurinol which inhibits the xanthine oxidase enzyme by competitive inhibition. Another drugs which can be used in the treatment of gout is the uricosuric agents like probenicid which will increase the excretion of uric acid. Then we can also give the patients where are patients uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs to uh, reduce the inflammation or we can also prescribe colchicine or steroids. So that is the treatment of gout. So that is all about frequently asked viva questions related to the gout. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.